What's up, everyone? Jeremy here from MTG Headquarters. On the release day of what many are saying is one of the better, more plug-and-play um, competitive event decks that Wizards has ever put out. So uh, we've got Underworld Herald here. Swarm your enemy with hordes of infernal creatures. With ample removal spells, you'll clear the way for some of the Underworld's biggest baddies to finish the job. In my mind, it said the biggest fatties. But Black doesn't really play fatties, does it? These event decks, I've always said, are are great, and there's probably a reason they come out after the intro decks. I mean, these are the best for new players that just want a competitive deck. You know, it's a, it's the closest thing that, like, this plus $5 could get you a competitive deck at f and uh, Maybe $10. Um, but let's go through it. So we have a green spin down. Let's see if it's at least... Bone of the Gods. It it tis be. You've got a 60 card deck. You've got like kind of a deck profile and then a how to play the game. Then you have your 15 card sideboard, which we'll go through first. Sideboards are always an important thing and it's one of the things new players often overlook. You have to have a good understanding of the metagame to know what you want in your sideboard. So there's a cremate, exile target card from graveyard, um, I guess. I'd probably, I don't know, maybe. Dark Betrayal for um, mirror matches, that's okay. Duress, it's an okay card. Faricus Cure, I love this card. Um, I assume there's probably two in the main deck. Staff of the Death Magus, don't play those. Gift of Orzova, it's fine, um, but that's a pretty weak sideboard. Um, if you really wanted to be competitive with this deck, you'd want to run stuff that can deal with like mirror matches, mono blue. Those are the two biggest decks probably right now. Uh, red green monsters, or you know other devotion decks. But let's see what we have inside. I've not really looked here. So we have tormented heroes, a great little creature comes in tap, but anytime you target with a spell, you gain one, they lose one. Rakdos cackler. So we started with a bit of aggro, kind of. Blood Scrivener here. If you would draw a card while you have no cards in hand, instead draw two cards and lose one life. That's an okay card. Pack Rat. Okay, so you've only got one Pack Rat. So an obvious uh, improvement, I think, is you know swap out the Blood Scrivener for another Pack Rat. In fact, you could play four Pack Rats if you wanted. Spiteful Return is okay. It's, it's really good value. I love this card in Draft. Um, it's a two drop one one, which is not great. You really want to bestow it. Uh, however, when you do, every time you attack, the defending defending player loses two life, and it really puts them on a clock. Um, if you put it on some creature with a little bit of evasion, Racto Shred Freak again, kind of a weird. This is weird. It's mono black, but it's not really mono black devotion too much. Although these all are all okay. Mogus Marauder is all right. Good finisher. We've got three of those. Zathrid Necromancer. Um, that's a good value card. Whenever another human creature you control dies, put a 2-2 black zombie creature. Agent of the Fates. I love this card. Um, for competitive, like, standard play, you don't really see this card played. Maybe you swap that out for Packrat. It's a fun card. Looks like you have quite a bit of spells to target your own creatures or bestow. So you could really have some fun with Agent. Herald of Torment is fine crypt gas is great in this deck you know adding a few more of those won't won't kill you erebos emissary fine desecration demon one of those again uh would i rather run another desecration demon than erebos emissary yes uh would i run some gray merchants instead of erebos emissary yes but again this is a great deck uh for out of the box for the price point Three Doom Blades, three Ultimate Price, or two Ultimate Price, two Bile Blight. This is new and it's great. Instant Speed, Target Creature gets minus three, minus three. It's a good um, stall card. A Hero's Downfall, which is great. 
Um, the Gift of Orzova, I would probably drop that for, again, I would love to see, like, maybe four Grey Merchants in this deck. It's a common, right? So you're talking about uh, 50 cents to pick up all four. Gift of Orzova is fine. It gives it Flying and Lifelink, but um, if you really want to be competitive at, like, an FNM, that's going to, you'd rather play the Grey Merchants, I think. Fate of Return, this card, I don't know. Seven drop, put target creature card from the graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. It gains indestructible, and if it's your turn, scry two. I would almost immediately replace this card. Again, this is another card that you could swap out with another hero's downfall. Um, again, I think to, the cards I'd like to see four of in this deck are like Pack Rat, Grey Merchant, Hero's Downfall, um, at least. So any of those, swapping them in. And then you have your... Swamps. It's not a bad deck. You know, it's it's all right. You know, more heroes downfalls are better. Ultimate price is fine. Again, that's you know another desecration demon or two. I would love to see that. I don't know what fatties it's referring to or baddies or whatever. Because <laughs> really, the only like finisher in this entire deck is pack rat. And Desecration Demon. So I like being able to draw cards with Pack Rat. Um, so Blood Scrivener is not terrible. You know, like when you get near the end of the game and you need just that extra card to sack and then make another rat, Blood Scrivener could come in handy. Um, these Recto Shred, Shred Freaks, again, that's fine. This is kind of an aggressive build. And you've got the Gifts of Orzova to fly over, which is not a bad thing. So... In the aggressive type build, the Gifts of Orzova make total sense. But they also add two Devotion. So maybe you run them for fun, you know? I, I'm more of a casual tryhard, so I don't obsess about matching, like, Pro Tour deck lists, right? Crypt Gas is okay because it gives you a ton of mana, but you don't really need a ton of mana in this deck. Um, you know, for some of the Bestow abilities, are a little more expensive, but this is definitely a fun deck. I think you get your value. It's like what a lot of people are talking about, like Jace vs. Vraska and this Born of the Gods event deck are practically quote-unquote free if at current prices, right? Because you have Desecration Demon. That's going down soon, but you've got a Hero's Downfall, Desecration Demon. Um, that's like two-thirds of your deck cost right there. A couple of Zathar Necromancers. So you've got great... And Pack Rat. So you've got great value in this deck. Um, I definitely would give it a thumbs up to be uh, purchasable. If you're not if you're not a highly competitive, you know, if you're not already going to F and M every single week with a net deck, um, or you just don't have money to buy super expensive cards, this is a very competitive deck. I'd love to see some gray merchants in here as finishers. I'd love to see some more desecration demons. I'd love to see um, some more heroes downfalls. I think any of those swapped in will really help this deck. I also think the sideboard is really, really weak. Um, so maybe Drown in Sorrows in here would be fun to add. These Staff of Death Magus, I mean, those stink. You got to cut those right away. I mean, even if you put two Farika's Cures in or Farika's Cures, instead of those, you're better off. Right? Duress is okay, but as a four of in the sideboard, I mean, I guess Hand Destruction, okay, fine. Dark Betrayal, fine. Um, cremate, I, I like to sub those out probably f to deal with some bigger fatties or the uh, mirror match. These are just some ideas, right? I'm not a pro. This is just some of my ideas. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've got a couple of great videos coming out this week as we push hard for the 50,000 subscriber mark. We're in an unofficial race with uh, Mr. Orange Kai. We're about a thousand subs behind him. He doesn't know I'm racing him, but I'm racing him. So tell a friend. If you like this, please take a moment to crush that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet subscribed, now would be a great time to crush that subscribe button and join the HQ crew so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching this video, guys. We'll talk to you again real soon. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, check out some of our most popular playlists from NTG vlogs, sick gameplay videos, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. I upload three to four new Magic the Gathering videos every week. 
So if you haven't already, please take a moment to crush that subscribe button to join one of the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channels on YouTube. Talk to you later.